Hello all, welcome to Passing By. I'm Paul. I'm Michelle. And behind us is Maud. This is Maud. Today what we are going to do in this little video is show you all our tips and tricks that we've uh, discovered along the way in our short time that we've had Maud. So we've had a lot of questions about the layout, we've had a lot of questions about what we do off grid. So there'll be a few episodes in regards to this. Um, so stay tuned and uh, come on inside. Hi, come on in and have a look at our Jayco Conquest Motorhome FA25-3. This way. Bit closer. So as you can see here, as you come into um, the, the motorhome, we have the fridge cupboard space. We have our lippet system, which shows you all the um, usage of the tank, grey water, solar, stereo. We have the Luton Peak. We opted for the Luton Peak with the storage rather than the um, uh, four-seater with the bed. Um, heaps of storage. Um, the Fiat cab, very comfortable. As you come through, we have the kitchen, the lounge area, the bedroom area, and then we have, and I'll let Paul just walk through and just show you the ensuite. So the ensuite has, uh, it's a full ensuite with um, a shower, toilet, wash machine, heaps of space. Okay, so with the kitchen, we opted to take the microwave out. And the reason why we did that is because A, we don't use the microwave a lot at home anyway. It's only just to reheat stuff. And we thought, well, how often are we going to use the microwave? Especially when we're off grid, we can't use it off grid. So we opted to take it out and it's increased our cupboard space incredibly. What Jayco has done, which is really good, is even though they have taken the microwave out, they still left all the power points and wiring in there. So if at any stage we need to put a microwave in or something else, at least we have got the um, facilities there with the electricity to do so. So that was one option we went with. All the cupboards go up heaps of room this little gizmo here is for our TV once you plug in the TV and put the aerial up the numbers will appear the higher the number the better reception I have changed things around a couple of times to suit I found having the crockery up here was hopeless for us so we opted to put the crockery down here just remember too that with the top shelving always try and put your lighter stuff up there because of the tilt factor so when you are driving you can imagine the motorhome is like this and then you've got heavier stuff up the top and your camber is going that way and that way it's going to make it more tilt so light stuff up the top everything is covered with the draw liner um, because it does hold things in place nothing moves with this um, and I've also put it all with double-sided tape because what I found is even though you put the draw liner there things will the, the actual draw liner will move so I've actually double-sided everything and I'll actually do draw liner on these sides as well here's another helpful hack magazine holders it out okay so magazine holders that's <laughs> definitely not coming out <laughs> I've packed it in really nicely <laughs> but what I've done with the magazine holders is one thing we have learned lesson learned one thing we have learned while going to Birdsville and being on 280 odd K's of dirt road things will uh, jiggle and they will rub and they will rub against the walls anything and it will put 
put an indentation in it. So I've opted for the magazine holders and I've actually put these little firm tabs on the side. So they don't knock against anything else and they don't knock against the actual cabinetry and it keeps everything nice and tight. So when I'm packing this, I do the jiggle factor and the noise factor. So there's no noise in that and there's no jiggling. What about the heat from the modem, man? Hey, who? What about the heat from the modem? Oh, yes. Okay, so next cupboard. I've utilised this cupboard to store the lot taller stuff. So our chopping board and plates. The modem here does generate a lot of heat. And uh, we only found that out when we had a bag of chips against it. And when I took the chips out, that packet was quite warm. So be mindful that that generates a lot of heat. Um, so I wouldn't put anything, I, 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 look, I'm sure it's not going to burn anything, but just be mindful that it does create a lot of heat in there. So you didn't want to put anything plasticky or anything along there. Okay, so the bench top, what have I done here? Okay, I got to a point where I was marking the top of the gas top. This is a four burner gas top and it's wonderful. Cooks like a dream. Um, we did have a dish mat here for protection, but Pasco, our cat, decided that um, that was where he wanted to sit and I didn't want him to sit on this area. He has been trained not to be around the kitchen area. So he has now got this as his own mat, which is fine. So, when I was at the shop, I thought, oh yeah, that's going to really match our, our um, bench top, but it doesn't, but it's okay. <laughs> so this is the vinyl multi-purpose marble look roll liner. So I cut it to size and I, once again, I've used um, double sided tape. No need to um, use the heavy duty um, double sided tape in any of this. The scotch tape from the news agents is perfect. Um, I think I should go and get some shares in this because I've used a lot of double-sided tape in the motorhome. So I cut it to size and the flap is still open at the back. And all you do is you lift it up and bobs your uncle, it's all good. It's away from the flame and it's not going to move. I'm a person that hates to be moving things, removing things and getting to... I just want to be a minimalist and do things once off. So for me, it's safeguarding the glass top and it's easy. Another thing, we've got a lot of these suction caps and um, with the hooks. These type will work on this surface because it's not porous, but it will not work on the cabinetry very well. So be mindful of that. If you're going to put that, just test it before you put anything heavy on there. And we keep our keys. Again, another tip, use a lanyard and a colourful lan lanyard for your keys if you can. Um, you'll see this a lot. One of the things that everyone comments on is the noise within a motorhome. One has to understand that it is a fiberglass box on a chassis. It's going to rattle, it's going to make noise, it's going to squeak, it's going to do all sorts of things. But you can minimise it. So one of the things that I couldn't work out for a little while was a rattle around here. And it had to do with this kitchen sink cover. Now, I ended up wondering how I'm going to fix this because it was actually doing my head in a little bit. And I didn't have a before and after shot, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. When we're driving, it was actually making this sort of noise. So what I ended up doing was just putting some um, door draft strips on there, on only on the three sides. And Bob's your uncle, that's not going to move at all and there is no noise, love it. What have we got in the kitchen sink? We have our kettle. Normally I would leave the kettle up here. The kettle 
the utility tray and the bin stays up while we're driving they don't move so that's really good i've also got a little pop-up sink um i've had a lot of people say you know oh why do they make the sink so deep but i actually quite like it because if you really want to put everything away you can if you don't want dirty dishes there all day you can put them in the sink and what we found is this little um, pop-up sink is great being off grid so we fill it up with water dishwashing liquid leave it outside and we just do our dishes during the day and then we dispose of the water correctly or if you don't want to fill up this sink with water you fill this little um, portable sink underneath I also have a sink liner which I got from um, Kmart and that just stops scratching the sink I suppose and if you put anything there it's going to hold the things down very easy push down and pack up always put something that's absorbent underneath the tap because once you start driving that will drip and you'll have water everywhere I put this up for the paper towel roll and learnt my mistake that even stationary with a little bit of wind going through the window this will unravel but the good old peg does the tricks underneath we have several cupboards of which to, um, only one you can't really utilize which is this one this is where the hot water system is and the only thing you could put here is something along here so maybe a chopping board but again I've left it alone less things in there to move and rattles less things to break and as you can see Paul can you just move that across so this is the kitchen sink so it's a big cupboard but you lose half the space or height so you've only got this side to play with and this is where we're putting all our bottles and what I've done is literally got a BWS drink bag and I just cut it up. I cut the sides off and the bottom off and I use that so things don't rattle and it's come very, very handy actually. So yeah, that's a tip for you. Again, what I've done is just lined everything. Um, I've actually taken the, um, the uh, cutlery holder thing and just let them all loose and all the sides, front and back, are all lined with the drawer liner. We have our crockery and our glassware. Again, do the rattle test. Nothing's going to happen there. Underneath, we've got all our food items. Okay, so here we have our um, slide out storage. As you can see, plenty of room. I use these little baby plastic things I bought from eBay uh, for all the spices. Um, that's how they come in packs of five and various sizes. Um, down the bottom we have a little bungee cord and we just wrap that around um, the bottle so they don't move. Again, I've used the BWS bag for the oil so Again, they're not making a lot of noise. When you put this back in, make sure you give it a bit of a, a nudge so it actually locks the pantry in place. If it's not locked, what will happen is if you just push it in, it'll slide out on its own and when you're driving, it will go everywhere. I've also got the grill and all the little attachments this is quite noisy <laughs> so i definitely recommend wrapping this up in drawer liner or something because you'll only do it once and you'll never do it again it is very very noisy it moves around quite a bit so that's the kitchen here's another little handy um, hint and utilization of space we decided to put a hat rack in um, our hats were sort of flying all over the place so we decided to do that and we just attached it with velcro again velcro is my friend double-sided tape and velcro is my friend 
very handy, easy. You're going out, pick up a hat, plonk the hat back down. These are the um, storage um, pigeonholes. At first, the original one actually had a cupboard and I wasn't quite happy with the pigeonholes when we've got them. But in saying that, I'm converted to it because it's so easy to now just grab things on the go. So what we've got here is basically all our outdoorsy stuff. Here's a little interesting hack. So what I've done is actually put um, hooks up here and so that holds all our headlamps and our um, fly nets are done is put some draw liner here so that doesn't actually scratch when it's moving and stops the noise as well but that's all our outdoorsy stuff down here i've put in all our um sanitizer error guard etc and then we've got our shoes that we go to the amenities with or if they're dirty we just put them in there until they're cleaned we've added a fire blanket again attached with velcro so it's nice and easy to pull off when we need to hopefully we don't ever have to the storage of the Luton Peak is quite substantial. So as you can see, we've got two massive bags, plus odds and bods, another bag, and um, that's a 16 foot fully enclosed annex, and there's still room. We've also got a lot of room up there. We've got an extra swag and all the um, anti-flap kits. So you could, if you wanted to, put your chairs in there. Um, it is quite deep and it is quite long. With these pigeonholes, um, I'm very mindful of safety here, of things falling out while we're driving. So up here we've put all the light stuff again up the top. These are all our bags. Uh, this is our go-to medical stuff. So we've got everything including um, masks, hot water bottles for me. In this pigeonhole we have all our maps and our reference books and um, the manual for the Fiat, Jayco manuals and any other bods. They're all in magazine holders and uh, they sit there quite nicely. They don't go anywhere. Empty. Not sure what to put in there yet. So there is a lot of room for storage here. I've put in these motion sensor um, lights because I find these are quite dark <laughs> cupboards, um, especially at night. So I've got them everywhere. But yeah, well, you're going to be blinded by the light. And also in here. <coughs> we don't need to get that close. <laughs> so all cupboards have got sensor lights because they are quite dark. They're quite deep. So these are 60 centimetres deep and you can fit a lot of things. We're in the process of trying to work out how we're going to set this up, but what we are ideally looking after is um, looking at getting is um, slide out drawers, made to measure slide out drawers. Here's a little hack. I had a four drawer cabinet, a plastic one, and what I did is I pulled it apart and this now slides out and we can see all our bits and bobs in there. This slides out, all our bits and bobs. Now underneath the window, hun. Oh yes, yeah, so we've got the storage pod here. And this is really good for brooms, hiking poles, fishing rods, etc. Mops. Very comfy lounge. So here's another tip. Um, we own a cat, so he needed a scratch pole, and I converted the table leg into a scratch pole. I first put um, draw liner around the actual leg so it doesn't scratch and just uh, glued in the twine and uh, Pasco absolutely loves it. So from the lounge we have our bed. This is a queen size bed and basically all we got to do when we set up camp is um, hit the slide out, out and once it's out we put the bolster down. A lot of people have asked about the bolster. What is a bolster? What does it do? So the bolster is an extra bit to the, to the bed. And 
basically we move the mattress down and then put this down there. I had at one stage turned it around, um, but I actually find it easier that way and I find it more comfortable. So if I'm sitting here during the day, I'll actually have a bit of support at the back and then I can have my pillow up or whichever way and the cushions up. We leave our TV here when we're traveling. Then we come to the wardrobe area. This was tricky, this one. It's very narrow. The coat hangers are too wide for this. Um, and it took me ages, absolute ages, to find something that's going to fit. We were actually going to get a cabinet maker to make shelves. But we sort of figured at this point, because we're still in that planning process, I have moved things around thinking, oh, yeah, it'll go there. And then a month later I go, no, that's not working. I'll move it. So basically I bought this from Amazon. Why I like this one in particular is it's made from, it has bamboo in it. So it's really sturdy and it's not going, going to sag. sag. And, and what, what I do up here with, with the Velcro, Velcro is I've I just got, got a bit of dowel and two S hooks to hook it up there. So that's my wardrobe. Uh, plenty of room underneath. I'll just move this guy. Plenty of room underneath. Um, but again, sometimes it's deceiving. So under here is the wheel arch and you can't do very much with that. But that's where I put my shoes. Um, and by doing that, it also stops the bit of a road noise coming through. The other side's got a different configuration as well. I'm going to put these up here. So when we travel, we leave the chairs down here. And then they're the first things that go out. Oh! That was so eloquently done. So <laughs> the other side is a different configuration again. So you've got two shelves. They're different depths. So that's a shorter one. That's a deeper one. You can't do anything here. There's only a little bit there. And there's a full, full depth underneath. So, again, you think you've got a lot of sh space, but they are a bit mix and match inside. But for, realistically, there is a lot of space. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to fill them up, will we? I will fill them up. I will fill them up? Okay, radio. <laughs> Guarantee we will fill them up. And then we've got, so we've got his and hers wardrobe. Um, this was interesting, actually, because I, when I measured it, I actually measured just that particular wardrobe, the other one. Didn't think to measure this one because I actually thought they were the same, but they're not. This is actually narrower, so this actually fits in quite snug, but it still works. And again, we've got more covered space here. The bottom one you can't do much with though. The Constantina door, I more than likely will change this. Um, not because of weight, but more so because it's stiff. So once you close it and you're mucking around in here and you're bending over and what have you, you're gonna hit it. So I think with a soft curtain it might be easier to to maneuver in here and we just put it back on the shower is quite roomy I'll just turn some light on here so while we're driving we actually take the shower head off and place it on the floor and that's where we keep our washing basket and I've also got a um, floor mat in there so things don't go moving around and if anything was to fall um, it's not going to hit the actual basin so again using suction caps we drove everywhere at this and it doesn't go anywhere we've got these uh, hooks with suction cups from spotlight and they've come in very handy and we can put our wet towels in there or um, anything else raincoats so another little tip is to do with the uh, stairwell. What I've done is actually just cut out um, fake turf. 
and just put it in there and that stops a lot of the dirt coming into the motorhome. This vent is completely open and I've actually just put the fake turf behind it with double sided tape in order to stop mozzies and insects and what have you come in and also mainly for the road noise. This vent is supposed to be open at all times for um, safety reasons with the gas. This is a porous element so it will allow air to come in so it's not completely blocked off. When travelling we put our um, mats into the stairwell and they fit perfectly in there. These mats we picked up from Kmart. We did have the huge annex mat, um, the PVC annex mat that was six meters by two and a half meters and I found it very cumbersome, very heavy for me. So I opted for two mats that are two and a half by two and a half from Kmart and they work perfectly and they're very light. We hope you enjoyed our storage ideas. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or if you would like to share some of your own tips and tricks. We'd love to hear from you.